right, this recipe calls for a few things here. First one is uh, two onions. One onion will be chopped up finely, will be mixed in with one pound of hamburger meat. And I have all the various spices over here that's going to complete this chili. A coney dog is nothing more but the, uh, the hot dog frankfurter, the chili sauce with just mustard and raw onions on top. That is the original Coney Island, and that's what we're doing here today. So let's go ahead and get started by chopping up these onions. Like I said, you want them fairly fine. And I have a little helper here that will help me make this in short order. It does a really good job. Just like that. All right, I got one pound of ground beef. I'm gonna add in about half of these onions, which would be about one whole onion. These are the ones that I just chopped up rather fine. And we're going to reserve the remainder of these onions for the hot dogs itself. All right, also into this, I'm gonna add two cloves of garlic that's been minced up. We're gonna stir all this in and brown well. Okay, I've been going around five minutes just browning this meat up. By the way, this is a 93-7, 93% lean, 7% fat. And all we're really coming up with is mainly water. And so we're not going to drain this. There will be a little bit of oil in it, a little bit of grease, but not enough to really hurt anything. So at this point, we're going to take two tablespoons of chili powder. I'm using the Maxine chili powder. We're also going to put in one tablespoon of cumin. That's two tablespoons of chili powder, one tablespoon of cumin. We're going to add this in. We're going to let this cook about an additional three minutes. All right, I'm going to add in about a cup of water. Also going to add in one six ounce can of tomato paste. All right, I'm going to go ahead and work this in really good and get all this blended and mixed in well and we'll be back all right now i want to add in some salt we haven't seasoned this yet with salt probably going to get about a half a teaspoon of salt all right now into this you want to add one tablespoon of just plain old yellow prepared mustard one tablespoon of worcestershire sauce we'll mix this in good All right, the last and final ingredient is around two teaspoons of brown sugar. Maybe just a tad more. That should be plenty. All right, I'm gonna mix this in good. We just gonna let it simmer here for a few more minutes. And this is basically done. I've been letting this simmer for around five more minutes. Looking really good. It's just about the right thickness. Just tasted it. This stuff is good gonna be really good on a chili dog all right what I'm gonna do at this point is I'm gonna slide this off the heat and I'm gonna swap places with this little steamer here we're gonna go ahead and put this on high and we're getting ready to steam some hot dog wieners and some buns all right I've got these all beef New York style frankfurters going on got them steaming they've been in here about four minutes and about another minute I'm gonna add the buns and let them steam for one minute this is a very close replica to the original Coney Island, the, the Coney Island dog up there in Michigan. And from doing this hot dog series, if I haven't learned anything, I've learned one thing, that there are many variations to all of these dogs. The Detroit Coney Island, it uses a thinner, a thinner sauce. This is a thicker sauce. And I'm sure there's other variations as well, different toppings such as that. But what I've presented to you today is the basic Coney Island recipe as it started. All right, this Coney Island dog is about as simple as it gets. We got a steam bun, nice and soft. From there, we're going to take the New York style all beef kosher type hot dog wiener. Right now, from here, we're simply just going to put this chili on that we made. Tell you what, that really looks good, smells good and tastes good all right all we get from there is just more mustard on top you know we got mustard inside the chili 
we're going to put more on top. We're going to top it with raw onions. And that is it. That is the Coney Island. All right. Oh, this is going to be good. Let's give this a taste test. All right. Here we go. Oh yeah, mm. it's very hot, but delicious. This is the keeper, this is good. All right, people, this is actually gonna be my last hot dog in this series for a while. I will be adding some more hot dog recipes as I go and throw them on that playlist, but I have got so many products that I've got to do reviews on that people's been sending me and mailing me and I'm really getting behind. So it's time for me to move on to bigger and better things. So I hope you enjoyed everything up to now. I've got four different hot dog videos up and uh, we covered some really good ones. I hope you give them a try, including this one. This is a keeper for sure. Excellent hot dog. And uh, that's about it. Until next time, smoke your ribs.